First, carefully read the question. It tells us that there is an alternative way to arrange the electrons in the amide pictured. For part A, we are to draw the alternative and suggest why it's not usually shown. Then part B asks us to explain why the angle between the two hydrogen atoms and the nitrogen atom is found experimentally to be close to 120 degrees. In other words, why is the geometry around nitrogen approximately trigonal planar? Once you've read the question, summarize your plan. For part A, we need to draw the other resonance structures, including all lone pairs and charges. And then, determine why it's not normally pictured. For part B, if we examine the HNH bond angles in both resonance structures, that may help us suggest a reason for the geometry in the actual molecule. Now we can solve the question. Start by considering the given resonance structure. The oxygen atom is sharing an extra pair of electrons with the central carbon to fill the carbon's octet. This is shown as a double bond. If the oxygen keeps all its electrons, the carbon can instead fill its octet by sharing the lone pair on nitrogen. All of the atoms still have an octet, so this must be the other resonance structure. Don't forget to determine the formal charges. The oxygen atom has seven electrons and only needs six, so it carries a negative charge. The carbon atom has four electrons and is therefore neutral. The nitrogen atom has four electrons but needs five to be neutral, so it has a positive charge. From the rules for building resonance structures, we know that charge separation should be avoided. That's probably why this resonance structure is not normally pictured. To solve part B, we need to examine the geometry around nitrogen in both resonance structures. In the structure on the left, the nitrogen atom forms three bonds and has one lone pair, so the geometry is trigonal pyramidal, and the HNH angle is around 107 degrees. In the structure on the right, the nitrogen atom forms three bonds, but has no lone pair, so the geometry is trigonal planar, and the HNH angle is about 120 degrees. So the experimentally determined angle is close to 120 degrees because the resonance structure on the right is making a significant contribution to the observed geometry. Finally, check that your answer makes sense. For example, the resonance structure we drew has a negative charge on oxygen and a positive charge on nitrogen. This makes sense since oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen.